Hi guys. Okay. Did you see it? Go in there. Go in there for just a minute, see if you can hear me. Okay. So someone suggested that um, I go live on my page and sublimate a mat for you guys. So here I am going live and doing this. Um, I've had some questions about the different, what actually sublimation is. We're, we're going to go over that. We're, I'm actually going to do a map for you guys right now. My printer's talking to me. Um, and then I'm going to kind of talk about the difference between the core mat and the poly mat. And then you'll understand the price difference. And then we'll talk about after I make it, some of the different designs we have. We have some new ones coming up. Kenny's going to join us in a minute. And then, there I am. can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. And um, then we're going to talk about some of the stuff that's coming up for this page and how excited we are to do all this and how much fun I'm having with it. So I'm going to get started. Um, so when what happens is my computer back here, I design... Um, all of the mats on an app on there and then I send it to a printer. This is the Epson 15,000. Yeah, ET 15,000. ET 15,000. And it is converted over to a sublimation printer, which means that it has special ink in it that um, when it's printed on special sublimation paper, um, you put it on special sublimation paper and then you put it underneath heat. And what happens is it, with the pressure of the press and the heat, it puts the dye actually into the fibers of the mat. That's what makes sublimation different than even on shirts. Like this is a shirt I made. This is sublimated. It is actually in the fibers of my shirt. It's not like vinyl or DTF where you can actually feel DTF's a little different than vinyl, but um, you can't feel this at all. It's down into the fibers of the material. Um, the difference, the one thing about sublimation is you have to sublimate it on something polyester or poly. So with shirts and sweatshirts, and I'm just starting to do that, it has to be, it should be at least 60% polyester, which isn't easy to find. Um, not everybody likes the feel of polyester. This is 50-50, and um, my Golden Girl one with the three, four girls, four girls, my favorite show. I'm a little nervous because I'm live. Um, that is sublimated. Um, what happens when it's just 50-50, it tends to fade a little bit, and it gives it that, I don't know, vintage, vintage look. Mine hasn't faded. Has it? I don't think it's faded. This hasn't faded either. Um... I do use a sublimation spray also. So I'm rambling, which I said I wasn't going to, but if you know me, I'm a rambler. She rambles. Yeah. Um, so I design all of my mats on the, com on the computer. I send it over to print it on the sublimated printer on special sublimation paper. And then um, I have the mat here. Here's the mat, just a blank mat, and I put it on here, and we, I use a lint roller on it to make sure, that you, you know, you don't want to press any of the little whatevers <clears throat> on your mat. And then I always tear um, before I print. So what's that do? Um, when you tear this, it keeps it, for whatever reason leaving press lines, like the square press lines. Um, I don't know why, but uh, I've watched lots of YouTube videos and just about every person does that. Shelly Scoop says, hey. Hey, my name, how are you? Uh, oh gosh, now I'm really nervous because people I know are watching me. Um, 
social media. It's crazy how I can get on another platform and act like a fool. But over here, <clears throat> it makes me nervous. Um, so, anyways, I always tear. I try to take the flap edge off of everything. And I don't know why it presses without seeing a line when you tear it. But it does. Um, I've watched... I'm still just learning all of this. Um, YouTube is my favorite friend. I've learned a lot on there. And sometimes you can't, depending on how big your design is, sometimes you can't tear all the way around. But if you can, I do. So I'm going to tear this off real quick. And then... Um, I will center it on here and I measure and try to get it as centered as I can. Do you guys see the lights down? It's because of my press. Okay, so I just tear it like that and look, they can see it right in there. But, but when we look at it here, it's backwards. Okay, anyways, you always put the printed side down. Just kidding. Did you start to say something? No. Oh. Okay, so I'm just going to center this. And sometimes I measure from the side to the black thing around so it doesn't, you know, look walk or dog. I gotta stand up and look at it. Um, if anybody's on here watching that has bought a map for me, I would appreciate if you would go in and give a review. I, That is such a big deal on Facebook if you have reviews. And I do the top and the bottom. And then sometimes I do this. Hey, Kenny, does this look like it's centered? <laughs> Kenny, you know I asked you that. Does it look good? Does it look like it needs to come over a little bit? I know the lighting. I know we need to get more. Lights. We should have went live in the afternoon when we have really good natural light, but we were cleaning today. Looks like right here is the words. Let's go down here. I think it looks good, don't you? Mm -hmm. I moved it so that you have to level it. Okay. I'm good at that. So once I get it centered on there and try to make it the words as level as I can, I will. I put. Um, Heat resistant tape around the edge. You want it to, I tape it down really well because if you don't and it moves, it'll ghost, which means it looks like a shadow. You have two prints. Um, I've ruined shirts and mats and... That's a learning curve. It is a huge learning curve, but um, I'm having a lot of fun doing it. And you guys have been, they've been great and supportive. And um, we are getting close to the 500 follower mark. You gotta, you gotta read that to me. Oh, what's it say? Amy Rowe Smith. Hey Michelle. Amy Rowe. Amy Rowe. So excited for you to join at our craft show this Hi. year. Your mats are beautiful. Oh, uh, thank you. I am very excited. Um, we are, we are going to be at the USB craft show, which is March, I think 29th. Amy, put in there the date. I can't remember. I know it's the Saturday before Easter. Is that right? Yeah. That's our first craft show, and um, we are, we're excited. We're going to have um, some stuff there made ahead, but we're going to have all of this here, and we're going to be able to um, personalize a mat if you want one. Um, we were excited to do craft shows. We filled out... For the herb fest the other day correct yep so we plan on being at the herb fest in ada um but we are super excited about the craft show coming up at usv for a couple reasons one it's our first one and two it's at usv and we both graduated from there so we're excited about that uh, make sure you mark your calendars they have got a ton of great vendors coming uh go they have a page an event they have a discussion in the event of all the different vendors um, go check that out. It's 
for a really great cause. Um, I think it's the music department. I know I'm not saying that right, Amy. Performing arts, those kids that are super talented. Nindy says, hey, so is Dean. Hi, guys. Um, so. <clears throat> Hold on. Okay. USV Performing Arts Booster Spring Craft and Vendor Show Saturday, March 30th. March 30th. March 30th. Terry yes. said she loves her mat. Terry. Yeah. Liss. Hi, Terry. And Lisa Holland says she's proud of it. Hi, Lisa Holland. I mean, Lisa. What's her married name? Alan. Alan, sorry. I'm a little nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous because I know all you guys. So, anyways, once I get it all taped down, my uh, press is heated to 390 degrees. Oh my gosh, that makes me look even taller. So let me swing this out a little bit so you guys can see. I'm going to swing this around and I have a piece of parchment paper down on the bottom. So when you do a big mat like this, you end up pressing twice because um, you want to make sure you get the whole... Oh yeah, see I'm getting excited ahead of myself. So you put, I put butcher paper down, parchment paper, and I put it on top of the sublimated. Yeah, the sublimated paper, just like that, and cover all of it. And we're gonna bring that around. And I'm gonna bring this down, <clears throat> and we're gonna press this for 70 seconds. So. So on this press, it's a Vivor. Scoot in, so they can see. They want to see you. It's got dual mode, but. For some reason to make this work right, you've got to set both mode, temp, and time the same before it'll activate when you do the flip the switch to start. Uh, that, was, that was a huge learning curve that made me, us both a little crazy. Sydney was here when we were trying to figure out why we couldn't get the timer to set. It was I, I was shipping it back. I mean, according to their booklet, you should be able to unlock three modes and have three running. Just... Hit mode and go to one, two, or three. It's not working. It has not worked like that yet. <clears throat> so, it's been a huge learning curve. Um, I love doing it, but I have threatened how many times to... I was going to sell all this stuff. Y'all was going to see this stuff for sale on uh, At Facebook. At one point, that big old printer back there was going to go out the back window. Yeah. That's my second printer. Because I bought... I have another printer over here, an Epson printer, when I started all this back in November, October. And then I decided I wanted to do these mats and I wanted to print bigger on bigger paper. So we had to buy. Okay. So then you just lift that up and then we're going to scoot this down this way and press the other side and make sure that all of it is. Can you, can you put your hand right there? Thank yep. you. We want to make sure all of the wording is covered with the top of the heat press and so you end up doing mats twice. Um, and when you're pressing these, it smells kind of like you're at the drag strip. Yeah, so we have the window open. Yeah. It's not going to stink inside of the gym. Not that bad. No, no, no. Really. But um, in this little room, we turn this little bedroom into a craft room and all this. But, um, so, I, I, we have one of these plastic six-foot tables here. We have a piece of wood here. I know you probably couldn't see that. This was another learning curve for us. <laughs> I warped the fire out of this table. I mean, it was like this because the plastic on the bottom of this is super hot. And I didn't think anything of it. I just set it over here and it warped the table. Big time. Yes. It was but unreal. It came back, right? It's just a it, little warped. Yeah. Um, so Kenny went out and found me a piece of this wood and cut it down for me and brought it in here. So... When we take the hot mat off, Kenny, your girlfriend's calling you. <laughs> I'll be back. Kenny has a, um, that, if you guys hear that, that's Kenny's blood pressure machine that he, uh, that talks to him. And he has to take his blood pressure every night and it gets transmitted to his doctor because Kenny doesn't know how to take care of his health. So, okay, we have, we have that done. So we're going to set it down here a minute. I'm gonna let it cool before I just just a few seconds. I'm gonna leave that on there and then I'll peel it off. Let me move this. 
thing out of your way. Um, I have this on a, I have my press mounted to a Craftsman. There's geese landing in my field. Um, craftsman tool chest. I have a better tool chest than Kenny does. Um, so basically that's how you do a sublimated mat. Uh, the, the bad thing about, it's not a bad thing. Um, sublimation ink, you can't do white. So I can't print, I can, but it's a process to print white onto dark colors. So that's why you don't see any white on any of these mats. Like my bunny ones, those colors come through, but their tails are the color of the mat because it doesn't print white ink. Okay, so I wanna peel this off and then I'll lift this up and show it to you. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Any other time, this just comes right off. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Penny? Yeah. I can't get this to come off. I taped it too well. Yes, you did. Okay, there we go. Alright, and then this is hot, but I can handle it at the top. Here we go. It says, Welcome to the Josephs, established in 1969. That was an order I got today. Um, for this mat. Is that from Beth? Yes. Is she you on? still watching? Is she on here? She was. Beth, ah, it's yours. Um, and then I let this cool completely and I spray it with um, Flex Seal Clear. And that just helps um, keep it durable. I also spray my core mats like this one right here. This one um, has been sprayed with it also. And we're gonna talk about this mat in just a second. Um, I, someone asked, how long do these mats last? Well, I was Googling today and doing a little bit of research on that. And I seen somewhere online that said we should change our doormats every six months. Well, that's a big fail, I don't do that. Um, but these last, like I've told everybody that's bought it, it really depends on how much traffic you have on it. It's going to last just as long as any other mat would, depending on the traffic, because this is, the ink is down in the fibers, and this helps keep it last longer. Does that make sense? Am I yep. saying that it right? seals it. It seals it. Um, I mean, it is going to, it's going to fade, and it will wear out the more traffic it has. Um, but we've had, the very first one I made said, Welcome to Grams and Grumpy and Grams. And it's been out there for a couple months. Oh, and it doesn't it look faded or, and that's the door everybody comes in and out of. So I think they're just like any other mat, you know. Um, so that's how you sublimate a mat. And then the core mats, which I mentioned, those are just coconut husk that are sewn together into that. Those I have to hand paint. So, like with this one over here, I'm getting ready. I have one over here. I'm getting ready to do a hello one again. And I have to use a stencil and hand paint all of those. So, if you buy one of those mats, those are hand painted. Um, because you can't press, you can't sublimate, you can't put a hot press onto those. Um, <clears throat> and we just got a Cricut. I don't think I've had that a month yet. And I'm learning about that. And I'm hoping to be able to make more stencils to do um, different things on the core mats. But I need a drink. But uh, I do have a, a welcome one that's coming, a welcome stencil that's coming. I have the hello stencil. I made that the Hoppy Easter one right down here. All of those, that came from the Cricut. Mm -hmm. um, all you people that know how to work that Cricut, my hat's off to you. That thing about went out the window. Multiple times. But I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I just don't have enough time to do all that. Um, but there's going to be uh, more designs. I have more designs designed for these. Um, and if there's a mat that you want, if there's a saying, 
<laughs> she's like a designing women. Just message me and I could put something together and show it to you. Kenny was in the ER the other day. I took my computer with me and um, was designing mats and um, sharing them with people to see if that's what they wanted. So, um, yeah, if you have any questions, you can message me on here on my page. Uh, you could email how we're going to do this. I was going to set up a website. We're going back and forth with that. Um, but for now, uh, we're just going to, you can email me at simplymichelle.70 at gmail.com. We're going to just, <laughs> we're going to figure out shipping. It's a girl. It said, hey. Hey, girl. Um, we're going to figure out shipping. Uh, that's more for my friends over on another social media app. But we are going to, we just got in the mailers to be able to ship these mats. And I have, uh, we're going to start doing t-shirts. You guys seen that? I'm really excited about that. We got the big box in for the, the first big drop of t-shirts that I did. <laughs> you guys blew my mind about those bunny shirts. Um, so I'm getting ready to do that. I'm excited for that. Those are DTFs. So I'm going to do DTF t-shirts and sublimation ones and sweatshirts. Um, but we're going to be able to mail those and the mats. The mats is going to be a little expensive to mail somewhere because they're Almost four, five pounds. four pounds, six ounces. Um, so we are actually taking them to the post office. <laughs> Sales rolling out. Hey, thanks for joining. Um, we're going to take those to the post office and know exactly how much if you want to send one somewhere or whatever that does. But so, so for right now, we're, my long story long here is we're still not setting up a website. We're going to do Venmo, PayPal, just like I said. You can just message me on here what you want, um, and we can discuss that way. We can just uh, discuss through email. And, of course, I always take cash. And what else? Oh, I do have, I'm really excited about some new items that I just got um, that aren't mat related. They are like boutique items that I'm going to sell too. Always wanted to do that. So, you know, why not? So anyway, someone suggested that I go live. So here I am live. Um, we're getting close to the 500 followers. That is another giveaway. We'll give away. Oh, and um, I'm over here just working away on mouse pads. I made these two. So I made four since yesterday. Um, so if there's a mouse pad, I can do pictures. I can do sayings. Um, let's see, what else can I ramble on to the people about? I'm really excited this next week. I'm going to introduce one of my new items that I'm going to sell. Um, but yeah, I don't know about the website. So we're just going to handle things on here through PayPal and I'll be able to mail things and I'll know the pricing for all of that for sure tomorrow. Or pick up, you know, <laughs> yeah, you can pick up. Someone's like, we're going to let people come to your house. And I'm like, I have cameras. I am free. Um, anyways, that's all I'm going to say about that. Yep. Um, we're going to have, right now we just have stuff. If you've ordered a map for me and um, you want me to set it out on my back porch, I will. I have. Um, Lori it's, Neely says hey. Hey, cuz. Um, I can put it out there and you can pick it up. So, anywho, I just, someone suggested that I get on here and make one live. We're going to start doing this a little more. Um, next time you might see me painting one of those mats. But yeah, so if you guys all hung around and I'm not just talking to myself, thank you. Um, and if there's anything special you want, please don't hesitate to message me and ask if I can make it, if it's a mat or a shirt or Yeah, whatever. if you can text her or message her with that picture that you want. Yeah, I got a she request can, can for something. something. Yes, two things. What day was that? I think the day you were in the ER. Um, I'm excited to try and figure both of those out, and that's what I'm going to try and figure out tomorrow. Um, so, anyways, and then I wanted to talk. There's about a 10-day turnaround or earlier, up to 10 days. It just depends on how quickly I can get my shirts in and how quickly I can get my mats in. Yeah, inventory is going to be trying to get that the, the, the setup of it coming in and, and rolling right. Right. Is, it might be a challenge for a little bit. Because I just put in another order for mats again. So, yeah. 
Anyways, all right, I rambled enough to you guys. Thank you for being so great. Thank you for sharing the page and following me and ordering. And if you have ordered from me, if you would be very sweet and go in and leave a review, that would be wonderful. And uh, have a great night, guys. See y'all.